This video will be discussing the difference between single ended and differential type encoders. Single ended encoders come in a 5 pin standard consisting of an A channel, B channel, index channel, ground, and power inputs. For multi channel systems, the ground pin is shared among all other input pins. Due to these characteristics, single ended encoders are more susceptible to electrical noise and DC offsets. These interferences decrease in the dynamic range of the input signal therefore requiring single-ended encoders to utilize shorter cable lengths up 6 feet or under. Using shorter cable lengths, shielded cables, and reducing exposure to electrical equipment will result in maximizing signal strength. Differential encoders come in a 10-pin standard consisting of the same signal set as a single-ended encoder, but with an additional set of complementary signals. These complementary signals are exact inverses of the main signal. The signal quality differs between differential and single-ended encoders due to the voltage difference between the two terminals, A and A0. As a result, any noise evident in both wires is cancelled. There will be some offset between the voltages which is expressed as a common mode rejection ratio, also known as CMRR. This allows for differential encoders to be used with longer cable lengths, up to 4,000 feet. Drawbacks of differential encoders are the increase in wires and cable costs. For more information, please visit our website at www.anaheimautomation.com.